Hi and welcome to a new video. Your purchases or subscriptions to several Apple services including iCloud, Apple Music, App Store and many others are made using the payment methods on your iPhone. Sometimes you might encounter unavoidable situations such as when your existing payment method is either about to expire, has insufficient funds or for any other reasons that might interfere with your purchases. In that case, you will then need to change your payment method. In this video, I will show you how you can do this on your iPhone. Let's go. There are two possible methods to change your payment method. Either update the one you currently use or add another. First, I will show you how you can update your existing payment method. To start, open the Settings on your iPhone. Tap on your Apple ID and go to Payment and Shipping to view all your existing payment methods. Whenever your current payment method has necessary changes, such as the expiration date or billing address, make sure to promptly update it on your iPhone to avoid declined purchases. Please note that if your active payment method is via Apple Pay, you will have to edit its account information directly on the Wallet app. As mentioned earlier, another option is to add a new payment method. Before adding though, keep in mind that the applicable payment methods vary for each country or state. Tap the Add Payment Method button below and select the new one you wish to add. Then fill in the required fields with accurate information and most importantly, double check that the billing address you enter matches the data on your selected payment method. For your additional information, Apple bills your purchases according to the order of your payment methods from top to bottom. In short, the first item on the list will be charged by default. So, if you want another type of payment to be the default billing option, tap on Edit at the top right corner. Then drag it to the top of the list and tap on Done to save your changes. However, please note that you will not be allowed to make changes on your payment method if you currently have an outstanding balance charged to your Apple ID. Make sure to settle your balances first before updating your options. And that's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye!